Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V! We're here at the Nicknackatory, so let's go check it out now that we've unlocked it with the Maxi Metal there. Well, what do you got for me, pal? The... how do you pronounce that? Chamois? Chamois? Well, pretty much the same thing, really. But, uh, anyway, uh, any knickknacks you place here, you can use the ShamWow on it to polish it up, and well, I'll explain that in just a moment. Like, none of this here is mandatory. It really has no substantial impact on the plot. But in order to actually do anything here, you gotta make it nighttime. So you can't just change up the exhibits and start polishing it at, during the day while people are there. So what you do is you walk up to one of these platforms, you go for one of your knickknacks, start with the Zizwiz pill there, and you can put it on there as an exhibit and people will come to look at it. Let's put another one on here. There's one I want to show you here. Uh, let's see. Toss Tea Set. Now, if you place that on there, then go to the uh, ShamWow and use it on it. You can polish it and upgrade the item. Only some items this works on. Not a lot of them. But, uh, well, there you go. So, now I want to take that back for later. So you can take items off the pedestals back into your inventory to use them for other reasons. You see, like, it has a beauty rating and a curiousness rating, whatever. Polishing it will sometimes increase that rating. So now I'm going to put all my other exhibits on these pedestals, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. You see on the two screens on the right there, I put all my uh, knickknacks there, except for the Tosh tea set that I polished which I want to save for later. So, let's head on down to the basement and find some treasure as long as we're here. Now, the reason why you do all of this stuff here at the Nicknackatory is to find Mini Metal number 18. 19 for me. No, no. But the reason you do that is because during the day, people will come here and visit the Nicknackatory and they'll donate some money and eventually... Uh, old man knickknack will give you some money. It's not real. Souvenir! Really, game? Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good, game. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, with old man knickknack, you can make some money here over time, but it's totally not worth it. It's insignificant. So, I wouldn't do it just for that. I'm just showing it off just to show you how to get all the knickknacks for anyone who cares. Just because I'm a completionist and I'm like kind of what I do. So anyway, there is another knickknack we can get back here at uh, Dominic King Dominicus's Dominion. You have to talk to the innkeeper here. Remember someone else was talking about that? Well, now you can buy it. I think you can only get it from her after giving the maxi medal to Old Man Knickknack. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's the trigger for it. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, King Dominicus, this is where you exchange your mini medals. So, uh, the most important one that I want to get is the Miracle Sword. And, yeah, look at that attack power boost. Just like the last game, you attack an enemy with it, it will restore a little bit of your HP. So that's pretty nice. Now, unlike the last game, the way the uh, mini metals work in this game is it's a direct exchange rate. So, once I get 23 mini metals, I will come back and give all of them to him. Then I gotta get another 23 to get another one, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's not like the last game where you get up to a certain amount then he gives you another reward, then you get up to another amount, and then you get another reward. No, no, it's a direct exchange rate, just like buying items at a grocery store or an armor shop or whatever. So, we got this little oasis here. Check it out. And here we get Mini Metal number 19, or 20 in my case. Because I won that one from that, uh... That chest earlier. Or was that the urn? Ah, whatever. Whichever one it was. 
Hamanatra. Okay, now well, let's take a look around. So yeah, I just came here for the mini metal. That's really all I care about. Gotta get up to 23 mini metals. That Miracle Sword is so good in the Dragon Quest games. Is it still good in the more recent Dragon Quest games? I'm just curious, because like ever since Dragon Quest IV, it's just obscene. Got a new enemy, Orc. Haven't seen them since the second game. Man, they were hard in the second game if you are under level. And you don't use snooze on them. But, uh, oh well. Er, well, sleep, as they called it back then. Back in the old country. Alright, we made it to Helm and Aftra. They got some new equipment here. Nothing that really excites me, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. Whoa. Well, I hope not. Yeah, that's uh, rather extreme there. Oh, I'm running out of inventory space. I guess i got to put some stuff in my bag and sell some other stuff. Well, I'll do that off screen. <laughs> Hot honeymoon. What do you mean by that? Don't answer that, Fierce. Uh, no. Well, there was that one guy who was talking about it, but I uh, can't remember that. Oh, okay. Well, remember that for later, Fierce. Now, in order to get the Desert Rose, you have to talk to this guy in order to trigger it, or it won't work. So, you gotta talk to this guy, rest up at the end, and then find the Desert Rose. I'm probably not gonna do that today. But, uh, just remember that for later. Oh, that's a lot of welcomes. Cleohatra's the Queen of the Desert? I thought Sorrow was Queen of the Desert. No, no, that was the last game. That was the Queen of the Desert, right? Whoa. Uh, apparently not. Okay, how's it going? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we kind of already knew that. <laughs> apparently not. Uh, I guess we better go find him. What? Oh. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. No. Well, well, I do have a turban, so that does help. <laughs> I thought Bianca might have something to say about that. Oh, yeah, we've already been there for those few places, but... I wonder if the game intends you to come here first. Eh, not so that. I like sequence breaking. Especially in Super Metroid. But, anyway, another TNT ticket. There are more TNT boards for us to explore, viewers. Oh, yes, we'll be getting to those soon enough, viewers, soon enough. What? Plague? What do you mean, a plague? I've played this game, and I don't know what they're talking about. Hmm. Maybe that's just a vicious rumor. I'm serious. Huh. Well, there we go. That's... It was unexpected. Okay, just like before, you sap on the guy. Maybe I'll get lucky and win a mini medal from him. I wonder what the odds of winning one are. It doesn't seem to be that obscenely low, but... Low enough, apparently. Here we got a seed of resilience. Awesome. Uh, oh, right. I have it. Alright, there we go. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's head on downstairs. This is where everything is. There's nothing upstairs. It's a throne room there, but, uh, no one's home. So, I'll just tell you that right now. Cleohatra, huh? We got a nice place down here in the middle of the desert. Kind of 
reminds me of Isis from Dragon Quest 3. And here we get Mini Metal number 20, or 21 in my case. Ah, thank you. Aw, oh, sweet. Okay, let's go. Well, there is water here. Hmm, interesting. Well, remember that for later. Uh, sure, why not? Haha! -ha, I knew it! I am the legendary hero! You're going to, uh, unlock my power, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. By the way, viewers, one thing to keep in mind is that the passage of time is relatively fast in this game. So, like, even though we've been, like, it's only been, like, a couple days from, you know, when we had the wedding and everything, uh, it's actually been probably more like several months, because, well, it takes a long time to travel across the world in a ship, right? So, uh, Dragon Quest V kind of goes for the more realistic approach to that. Just something to keep in mind, viewers, for later. Oh, it's not really a grave. Hmm. I wonder what did happen to them. Well, that must be why they call it Helminaptra. They have the Zenithian Helm here. Sure, why not? Haha! -ha! There we go. Well, that's three out of four, but, huh, well, unlock my power, come on, I'm the legendary hero, I have the unusual power. I, I would say I have the power really, really loud, like, who is that, He-Man? Uh, whoever said that back in that 1980s cartoon. But, uh, I don't want to destroy your, uh, headphones, viewers, so I'll take it easy on you this time. This time. Oh, well, there you go. Oh. So, well, what do you mean? I thought I am the legendary hero. I have to be. I'm the main character. Huh? Well, maybe I, I'm sure it's just a rumor. Oh, well, yeah. Pancras did say his last name was uh, Gotha, but how do we get over there? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Five. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>